What's up? This is Psyche Sound. This is Words from the Psyche. And this uh, topic is talking about um, the beginnings, your, your, your starting of your career. That's why I'm wearing this um, Sincerity Garcia shirt, Humble Beginnings. Check her out. She's a dope MC out of New York City. Um, she has a new single out called New York. Check it out. It's dope. It's hot. Um, and I'm here to talk about my humble beginnings and why you should be um, happy about those those times where you're learning things. So, for example, this is one of my humble beginnings. That's me on the left hand, on the right hand. Well, I don't know what side it is for you, but that's me right there. Um, a group called Two Hand Posse. I was a part of uh, back in the day. I was in a rap group. Um, another group I was a part of, Shady Strangers. And while I was in college, um, you know, like you're learning in the beginning stages, and everyone wants to come out and be this. I'm a star. I'm, I'm a, you know, and it's cool. You, you know, like you're a rock star already. You're this hip hop icon. And man, it doesn't work that way. You know, yes, you, I know that you fake it till you make it. I understand all that, but sometimes you got to be humble, and you got to really. Take that time to be that sponge and learn um, everything you need to learn about the people in the, uh, that are around you um, that are in the same um, field that you want to be a part of. And if you come off like you don't need no help or you got this, um, I mean, you can be uh, confident that about your talent. I'm not saying I'm not speaking about your talent per se. I'm speaking about the you know just being humble and, and, and being you know a little more modest and. And taking um, a few, um, you know, pointers. Not that you have to take every everything that you every people's every person's advice is not worthy of taking. But you know, you know, nod your head sometimes, and you can sit there and you can decipher what's good and what's not for you. Um, just be like, oh, you know, appreciate that. You know, thank you. You know, big bro, or thank you, OG. Whatever the situation is, but um, be a little more humble about it, and I think you'll get a little more help. If people think you don't need help, they're not going to help you. Um, you know, there's enough hate out there in general. Um, so. You know, be proud of, of of that phase in your life where you're um, taking those uh, those steps to um, better yourself. Um, because we're all not going to just be we're not icons until you're an icon. You know, you're not a legend until you're a legend. And and those people that are legends studied the craft just like you studied it. And you know, they've decided they want to be a part of it. And then when they're learning to be a part of it, you know, um, they're experimenting and. You know, once again, you have an ear. You kind of know what you want to sound like and you want to be like. You don't want to be like that guy or you want to be like that guy or you don't want to be like this. You know, so I think that um, just kind of sort of uh, really taking your ear um, and tuning it to uh, the sound. Like, you know when you don't sound good or at least I hope you do. Um, so, um, you know, like being just humble um, and grateful uh, is is a is a beautiful thing. Um, you you get so far, and and the last thing you want in starting your career off is the people that think that you're hard to deal with, um, and you're um, uh, I mean this this is just my view. Of course, this is worse than the psyche. My view on being humble. So, but I mean like you know um, it's just like you know the beginning is such a beautiful time. I mean you're learning so much, you know you you're meeting everyone for the first time, um, you're doing everything for the first time. It's your first show. Um, it's your, you know, so be proud of that, man. Yo, tell people, it's my first time ever doing this song. It's my first performance. And people will listen. Their, their ears will perk up. If you come off like, you know, you, man, it's, I, I do this. Like, you might do this and you might do it well. But just, you know, like, uh, like enjoy that moment because it's, it's, it's before you know it, it'll be your last show or before you know it. You know, it's like you're, you're kind of tired of doing this and you want to transition or whatever that may be. But in the beginning, it's such a beautiful thing, man. You're, you're gonna go through a lot of things. You're gonna you're gonna find out the people that mesh well with you. You're going to find out, um, you know, what you love and and, and, and the way the sound, the way you like it to hit this, you know, the type of speakers you like. I mean, it's just it's such a beautiful uh, part of your career, um, the, in the very beginning. So I don't know, man. I applaud, um, you know. Every time I start a new project, that's why when you start a new album, you're so excited because it's like it's like the, it's like that beginning that that a new baby. You know, you're you're so excited about those moments, and um, you know, um, I think I didn't lose opportunities. Uh, maybe I did. I don't know, but I mean, I and I was very humble in the beginning, always humble, still humble to this day. But um, <laughs> I know everyone's like, you're saying you're humble. That means you're not. But I was, you know, I've been very, um, you know, you know, not so outspoken and. Um, People have saw shows and productions and thought that I had everything I needed already. Um, and uh, so I started to had to be more verbal because by my stage show with the dancers and the band and, the, you know, and the professionalism, 
they were like, you know, I've had people come to my shows and say, oh, I would love to have an artist like that. I need to find an artist like that. I'm thinking, hey, I don't have anybody helping me. So I had to kind of be a little more verbal because uh, people didn't think I needed any help when I needed all the help. So, um, you know, let people know that, you know, you're just starting out. You're looking to make some connects or you're looking to network and, you know, um, find some people that are into the same things you're into. And I, you know, I think you'll you'll find that um, a lot of people are willing to help or a lot of people are in the same position you are. Um, that are looking for an opportunity uh, um, the same way you are going back to um, the yellow brick road vibe you know you'll, you'll find your tin man you'll find your your, your lion um, and your scarecrow and and you know which maybe in the light of uh, in, in the likings of your guitarist your bassist your drummer and um, you'll have a band and maybe they have other goals down that yellow brick road um, that don't line up with yours and that's cool too groups break up and not in a bad way all the time um, so you you'll be able to get to your destination um and and grow um branches you know trees have branches they just grow out they're still part of the same tree so you'll be able to do um the things you want to do look at wu-tang i mean it's it's an amazing story they have a great show on on, on hulu right now um the great story and you know you see the different characters and you know you'll the characters the different artists and you'll see them um branching out but they're still part of Wu. you know so you can do so much um together as a unit um but that unit you know, is is, is going to come in, into into light by you being a little bit more humble, um, a little more outspoken and, let, and, and verbal and letting people know that um, you would love to work with them or, you know, you would love to learn from them. Getting a mentor. Mentors are important. I need to find a mentor. Anyone want to mentor me? <laughs> I'm mentoring you now. You want to mentor me? Um, no, but a, uh, I think that um, it, it would just be a, a great thing for some of these younger uh, from some of this younger talent to really um to reach out to some of the people that have been doing this for a long time and um get some curves i mean because you'll like you'll figure it out like of course on your own but you know who wants to lose 10 years when you can figure this out a year ago or 10 years ago or five years ago you know you can you can you can get um some some like some extra credit points <laughs> um to, and get a little further a little faster um and a little smoother uh it's you know with um a little bit of information so I don't know. I'm grateful for my humble beginnings. I'm grateful for um, you know the people I, I that I met along my journey that have helped me or, or worked with me. Um, my whole wall that I'm looking at right now is full of them. Um, I have a lot of people that um, have were very uh, um, influential in many different ways um, when it comes to me being psyche of sound. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm inspired by like everything so it's pretty you know if i'm if i'm locking in in with you as a human then definitely but i mean i'm talking about cricket sounds inspire me so you know it's just it's just one of those things where like you know everything is music so that being said stay humble like 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 kendrick lamar says um and um yeah um keep growing and keep uh keep learning and don't uh give up your dream uh i know it's hard sometimes and we we have been especially this last year or two we've been some crazy times where we, we weren't even actually allowed to get on stage and i know you entertainers are itch i mean i'm itching like i mean i know that everything's opening up and opened up but man almighty um you know recording artists is cool record and put some singles out whatever but the stage is where it's at for for a lot of us um and the crowd um in front of people is where it's at for a lot of us and um, I'm glad we're getting back to at least uh, some of that. So uh, stay well, stay uh, enthused, and stay influenced, stay encouraged, stay blessed. And um, this has been the words of the psyche. And most importantly, stay humble. Psyche sounds. I know.